Welcome to ACO Tips and Tricks with Greg the Phone Guy. Our goal is to help you get the most out of your Avaya Cloud Office service. In this video, we'll go over the extension settings for your Avaya Cloud Office release for user. To log into your user's extension settings from your desktop app, click the settings icon in the lower left hand corner of your app. Click the edit button next to extension settings. If you do not have the desktop application installed on your desktop, you can access your extension settings by visiting service.cloudoffice.avaya.com. Enter your email address and password to log in. This will open the extensions overview. Click the settings tab to access the extension settings. The first section in your extension settings is user details. The general tab contains your first and last name, job title and department, contact and mobile phone numbers, as well as your email address that is associated with your Avaya Cloud Office account. In this tab, you can edit your recorded username and change your password. Click the information icon for more information about the settings. To edit your username recording, press the edit button. From the drop down menu, select record my name. You can enter a phone number and the system will call you to record your username or select a computer microphone and record the username. To record using a phone number, select phone and enter the phone number to be called at. This could be your DID number or mobile phone number. Select call now. Follow the prompts to record and save the username. To record using the computer microphone, select computer microphone and allow access to record the recording. You can set the volume level of the recording and press the record icon to begin recording. Click stop when finished recording. Upload the recording to the system and select save. You can also import an MP3 or WAV file. These will be the steps followed to record all your recordings in Avaya Cloud Office. The system's permission tab contains your regional settings, user hours, system role, user template, Schedule meetings for me and confirmation message. The regional setting, system role, and template will be set by your system administrator. To edit your user hours, select the edit button and then select custom hours. You can select your hours for each day individually or select the hours on a single day and copy those hours to either weekdays or all days. Select save. This will give you the option to route calls to voicemail or another user outside of your working hours. We will cover this in the call handling and forwarding section of this video. To give users permission to schedule meetings on your behalf, select the edit button. Select the users from the list and select save. To change the length or disable the confirmation message, select edit and select a time from the drop down menu. To disable the confirmation message, unclick the Enable Confirmation Message box. In this section, we will set intercom and button permissions for your Avaya J100 series desk phone. To set your intercom permissions, select the Browse button to access your intercom section. Verify your phone is selected and that the permission to accept intercom calls is turned on. Select the Users tab, select the users with permission to intercom your phone, and select Save. If we configured your Avaya Cloud Office, all users will be selected by default. To set your user presence buttons, select the presence button. If we configured your Avaya Cloud Office system, these buttons will be set for you. If you wish to edit them, select change user. Each user can only be on one button. If they are already assigned on another presence button, that button must be deleted before they can be moved. Currently, in Avaya Cloud Office Release 4, the first three buttons cannot be edited. Button 16 is also assigned as Park and Page. This cannot be edited. This is scheduled to be changed in a future release of Avaya Cloud Office. In this section, you set what happens while the call is connecting or the call is on hold. The User Hours tab is what greetings, tones, or music will be played during the working hours set in your user details, permissions, and settings section. User greeting. Enable this option when you want the system to answer the call 
with a recorded welcome message. This message is played as soon as the system answers the call and is not a personal voicemail announcement. To edit this greeting, select the Edit button and select Custom from the drop-down menu. Follow the recording steps described in the user's detail section of this video. Call screening. Enable this option when you want callers to announce their name before continuing to connect the call. This option lets you identify the caller so you can pick up the call immediately. After turning on this option, go to Call Handling and Forwarding to set your preferences. To edit this setting, select the Edit button and select From, if caller ID not present, if caller not in contact list, or Always from the drop-down menu. Select Done. Audio while connecting. Incoming callers will hear the music or ringtone selection that is configured with this setting. To edit this greeting, select the Edit button and select Ringtones, Music, or Custom from the drop-down menu. To play a standard ringtone while the call is connecting, select Ringtones from the drop-down menu and select Done. To play music while the call is connecting, select Music from the drop-down menu. This will open a second drop-down menu. Select the Music Style from the drop-down menu and select Done. To play a custom file while the call is connecting, select Custom from the drop-down menu. Select Browse to locate the file on your computer and select Done. Hold Music Callers placed on hold will hear the music or ringtone selection that is configured with this setting. To edit this greeting, select the Edit button and select Ringtones, Music, or Custom from the drop-down menu. To play a standard ringtone while the call is on hold, select Ringtones from the drop-down menu and select Done. To play music while the call is on hold, select Music from the drop-down menu. This will open a second drop-down menu. Select the Music Style from the drop-down menu and select Done. To play a custom file while the call is on hold, select Custom from the drop-down menu. Select Browse to locate the file on your computer and select Done. In this section, you set where calls to your extension will ring and in what order. User hour settings determine where calls to your extension ring based on the working hours set in your user details, settings, and permissions. Select whether you want calls to ring in sequential order or simultaneously. If you want calls to ring at your desktop and mobile application, click the button next to them to activate. Set the time you want it to ring at the apps before forwarding to the next number. Select zero seconds if you want it to forward immediately. To add your Avaya J100 series desk phone to the ring group, select the activate button next to the phone. To add another user's Avaya J100 series phone to the ring group, select the browse button next to add call forwarding phone and select forward to other users' phones. Select the user or users you would like to add and select Done. To create a ring group, select the checkbox next to each user and select Create Ring Group. All extensions in a ring group will ring simultaneously. You can select Ungroup to remove the group. Ring groups are limited to 10 members. To forward to an external number, Enter the number in an empty slot and select the Activate button. Select Save when finished. After hour settings determine where calls to your extension ring based on the non-working hours set in the User Details settings and permissions. From the drop-down menu, you can send callers directly to voicemail, play an announcement and disconnect, forward calls, or unconditionally forward. Select Send Callers Directly to Voicemail and select Save to send callers to your voicemail box. Select Play an Announcement and Disconnect, then edit the announcement and select Save to play an announcement and disconnect. Select Forward Calls and set up a ring group and select Save to have calls follow a different ring group than your user hours. Select Unconditional Forwarding and enter a number you want to forward calls to and select Save to forward calls to an external number. The Settings tab is where you set your incoming caller ID and call flip settings. 
Custom rules allow you to create a rule that will change the call routing for holidays, lunch, or based on the incoming caller ID. Select the Add Rule button, give the rule a name, and select Next. Select whether the rule will be applied based on caller ID, the number called, or a specific date and time. To route by caller ID, select the caller ID box and enter the phone number to use. You can use a partial number, such as just a country code plus an area code. Contacts from your address book can also be found by simply starting to type their name or number. To route by called number, select the called number box. Select the number or numbers you would like to base the custom rule on and select Done. To route calls by the date and time, select the date and time box. You can create a weekly schedule or a specific date range. Select your schedule or date range and select Next. To define how the call is routed, select from Forward Calls, Take Message Only, Play Announcement, or Unconditional Forwarding. To Forward Calls, select Forward Calls and set the Screening, Greeting, and Hold Music section. Set the call handling to determine where the calls will ring. The settings for these sections have been previously covered in this video. Setting the message settings will be covered in the next section of this video. To take a message only, select Take Message Only. Enable Take Messages. Edit the greeting message. And select the mailbox to deposit the message in. To play an announcement only, select Play Announcement Only and edit the announcement. To forward calls to an external number, select Unconditional Forwarding and enter the external number. Select Save to save the custom rule. Select the Validate Rules button to verify the rule has been configured correctly. If there is a conflict between rules, they will show in red to be edited. Click the Activate button to activate and deactivate the custom rule. The Message section is where you set your voicemail settings for your extension. User Hour settings determine the voicemail settings based on the working hours set in the User Details, Settings and Permissions. To enable your voicemail greeting, enable Take Messages and edit the greeting. Select where you want the messages deposited. If you would like them deposited in your mailbox, select This Extension. If you want the messages deposited in another user's mailbox, select Specific Extension and select Extensions. Select a user and then select Done. If you do not want callers to go to a voice mailbox, disable Take Messages and select from the drop-down menu How to Handle the Calls. To play a greeting and disconnect, select Play a greeting and disconnect and edit the greeting to be played. To connect calls to a call queue group, select Connect Directly to a Group and select Group. Select the group and select Done. Select Save to save the settings. After Hours Settings, determine the voicemail settings based on the non-working hours set in the User Details, Settings and Permissions. Select your settings and save. The Settings tab sets the Voicemail to Text feature. Enable this feature for transcription of your voicemail messages to text. The Outbound Calls and Faxes section sets the caller ID and fax settings. The caller ID section is where you set your outgoing caller ID that is sent for your Avaya J100 series desk phone, desktop and mobile applications, and Avaya Cloud Office dial-out features. To edit the outgoing caller ID, select the Edit button for the device or feature. Select the outgoing caller ID and select Done. Select Save to save the settings. The Fax Settings section sets the Fax Cover Page settings. Enter your information and select Save. The Meetings tab sets your meeting settings. We will not be going into detail about the Meetings section in this video. The Notifications tab sets the Message Notifications. We will not be going into detail about the Notifications section in this video. Thank you for joining us for this video on how to set your user settings in Avaya Cloud Office Release 4.